We're joined by Bill Bayless, President and CEO of American Campus Communities. Bill, can you tell us about some of the major macroeconomic factors that are impacting your sector at the moment? Alan, as you know, we're a student housing REIT, and so we're somewhat unique in that our sector really isn't impacted by the macroeconomics that all the other sectors of real estate are, and that we're much more supply, demand driven in the local market. And so we've proven over the last 18 to 24 months to be a much more resilient sector than the other broader market. And what do you consider to be some of the uh, major lessons that you've learned in the past year? You, you know, I think when we look back at the, the, the downturn over the last 12 to 18 months, the first is the importance of sticking to the fundamentals in exuberant times. And that we're one of the few REITs this year that had positive growth in 2009, it's the same store NOI growth, which was a tribute to that in the exuberant times preceding the downturn, we stayed true to the fundamentals, did good sound deals, and didn't get caught up in the growth for growth's sake. And so staying true to the fundamentals at all times is very important. I think the other thing that we learned along with everyone else is the importance of managing your balance sheet for liquidity and also for capacity. And how do you feel about your balance sheet at the moment? 2009 was a very good year for us. Uh, we went out with an equity offering in May. We raised $200 million. We were significantly oversubscribed. We also were one of the few companies we upsized our revolving credit facility. We renewed it for another three years, upsized it from $160 million to $200 million. We also are very fortunate that both Franny and Freddie uh, are in our sector. And so we did the first revolving credit facility for student housing with Freddie. And so we actually shored up our balance sheet quite well, have our leverage down in the low to mid 40s, and are prepared for growth moving forward. So looking ahead, what kind of role do you think that REITs in particular will play in the uh, overall recovery of the commercial real estate industry? You, you know, in our sector, it's really going to be playing the leading role. And that in student housing, most of our competitors are small private companies that are not well funded, that have third party sources of equity. And so as a public company, and talking about 2009 and the access that we had to equity and to debt through our established banking relationships, we're poised to lead the way as the recovery takes place. And, being opportunistic in acquisitions and investments, and also some investments on campus with colleges and universities. Bill, the down economy is also impacting colleges and universities. What effect has this had on your business? Actually, it's actually been a stimulus for us in that colleges and universities nationally, many have had their endowments go down, and certainly all states are struggling for budget capacity and how much funding especially goes to states for capital projects. With states not having the capacity to fund all of their capital needs, it's created an opportunity for us and actually a program we have called ACE, American Campus Equity, where we come in and own on-campus student housing using our equity and our balance sheet to develop in a manner that universities used to have to use their debt capacity. Actually here at NARI, we're in Phoenix at Arizona State, where we have our pilot program of ACE where we're developing $350 million, 5,000 beds of on-campus student housing all on our balance sheet for the benefit of the institution. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. For more information on this and other REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com.